Welcome to our Sims free play advent hints, tips and tutorials every day on the run up to Christmas. I'm going to be sharing with you a little tip video that will help you hopefully play Sims free play better. Day 18 is all about preteens. So far we have looked at babies and toddlers and I think if today we would take a little look at preteens. To have preteens in your town you must have completed the preparing for preteens quest. And then you can age your toddlers into preteens. To age your toddlers into preteens, you have to bake a birthday cake. So if you go into a stove and onto baking, there's the option for a birthday cake, which costs five LPs and takes one day. Once you have a birthday cake, you can click on your toddler and have birthday and use a birthday cake to age them up into a preteen. Once you have a preteen, you may want to go into the wardrobe section, like you do with other sims. You can just use the wardrobe to browse clothes and change their outfits. As with the toddlers, there is lots of cool hairstyles and clothes items that you can choose for your preteen. You may not have all of these. Some of these I may have won with different quests and limited time events. Preteens have needs just like all other sims. They have hunger, bladder, energy, hygiene, social and fun. And preteens are pretty similar to the adults in terms of what they need to do to fulfill all of their needs. Obviously they need to eat for their hunger, they go to the toilet for their bladder, they can use a chair or a bed for their energy. They can shower themselves, unlike the toddlers that can't go in a shower, a preteen can use a shower and they can use a sink to wash their hands as well for their hygiene need. They can talk to other sims for their social need. The only sims that they can't interact with are babies. And for fun, there is a ton of things that they can use for fun. They can use the normal TV, stereo items, but then they can also use these things like the basketball court, and this slip and slide out here for some fun. Your preteens can go to elementary school a lot like your adults go to work. If you go into the occupations tab, you can see that Belinda Lake, bottom left here, not enrolled in school. If we click on here, we can enroll her in elementary school and she will go for five hours every day. And you can see here that they are level. So the grade average C, she is level three of 10. Every time she goes to school, she will earn some simoleons and some XP. And you send her to school just like you would send someone to work by clicking on the icon there. To improve your preteen's grade at school, you can use a study desk, which you find in the preteen section of the home store. You can brainstorm, study, or cram. Your preteens will naturally just get better grades the more they go to school, but this will just speed up the process. There are several hobbies that your preteen sims can take part in. They can take part in ballet, karate, diving, figure skating, seashell collecting and skill tester. Karate and ballet are both done over at the community centre. Diving can be done over at the swim centre or any home lot with a swimming pool and a diving board. Figure skating can be done over at the snow park or any home lot where you have a swimming pool and a weather machine that has made it snow so that your pool turns into an ice rink. The same as with the toddler, seashell collecting is done down on the beach. And skill tester is done over at the arcade once you have built it. So there you go, that is all about preteens. If you have any other questions about preteens, leave them down below in the comments and I will try my best to help you out but thank you so much for watching join me tomorrow for another sims free play tip video i will see you then bye